So for $6, you can get an adult yellowfoot tortoise, and it's not intended for a pet. Oh boy. Well, good morning, guys. I am in a very loud and boisterous city of Iquitos, Peru. This is the largest city in the world that is inaccessible by roads. There's a road that leads down to a little town called Nauta, Nada, however you pronounce it, I think I got it right. But the only way to get to this city is by boat or by plane, and it's a huge city. There's a population of about five or 600,000 people here, and all these little moto cars that you see zipping up and down the road, there's like an estimated 80,000 of those here. So I'm waiting for my guide, Luis, to come and get me. I'm gonna go explore this city. This is going to be an awesome day. So this is Berlin. This is a community that is built up on stilts, sometimes 20, 30 feet uh, in the air, and they do this because of the high water, the low water, and during the high water, the pavement that I'm walking on right now is completely submerged and then you can see along the houses water marks of the high river points and the water is going right into these people's houses and they're built up on stilts 20-30 feet so that river really swells in the in the wet season and really goes down at the dry season and right now we're kind of at the in between the dry and the wet season. So in the dry season, these houses have electricity. They have generators that work. There's electricity provided by the city. So when the river is really high in the wet season, these people are living without electricity here because their generators and other electric generating sources, they're submerged. So life is pretty hard out here. actually they are what happened when they want to use facilities yeah so they don't have places right here but of course inside the house they have a bathroom and if they are doing pee -pee or pee -pee, so all this stuff are going to the water all right and if you can hear as I mentioned it's not in morning time but if you can hear about 3 or 4 uh, p.m. you're going to see in this place a lot of children swimming here but you know that's part of their life and they are not to worry about it they are not worried what they are going to get right so because the only thing they want to get is happiness right and you know so but the people are going to the bathroom in the water and then the children are playing in it later yes what I like about these people is that they are so friendly yeah it's like if you're in the Amazon along the Amazon different communities all these people and all them they are very friendly right if you want to talk with them hello hola hola <laughs> <laughs> see ya yeah. alright so whoa right now we're gonna go into the market and try not to get run over so yeah. the market is on either side of the street and then the cars just come really close to us I have a feeling my toes are going to get squished by the end of this tour. Well, there's a Cayman. Those Placos are still alive when they're cut open. Look at these. These are still alive. 20 soles? So these are $6 each here at the market. And they're still alive and actually people are came here to buy them get them no uh, to use as a pet just to eat, just to eat them yes. yeah so for six dollars you can get an adult yellowfoot tortoise and it's not intended for a pet oh boy 
So these are turtle eggs. Yeah. And they're actually illegal to be sold here. Is anybody is anybody policing this? Uh, no. No. So this is honey, and you just can't get fresher than that. This is a big roll of cigarettes. This is five times the amount of nicotine as in American cigarettes. Yeah, this is the... It certainly is the meat department. I don't know why everybody keeps staring at me here. I don't think I stand out at all here. So I'm buying this really cool bloodwood anaconda pipe. Check that out. Sweet. That one's cool. Single cincuenta? Yeah. Yeah, no. No, yo quiero solo esto. Well, guys, that was a really amazing and funky market. I've been to markets and cities all over the world, and it's going to be hard to top that one, but. Anyway, I'm on the other side of Iquitos right now, and I heard about this manatee zoo that is not just a manatee zoo, but it's not even a zoo. It's a place where they rehabilitate injured animals. They rescue animals from the markets. We just saw the tortoises at the market. This is a place that rescues as many as they can, rehabilitates them, gives them medicine, and then eventually releases them back into the wild. So. This is a place that was a must on my to-go list while I'm here in Iquitos. And uh, so I'm gonna go in and get a tour of this place and go see the manatees and the tortoises and the monkeys and everything that they're working with here. So this is a hospital for manatees yeah. and turtles. Very nice. I like this place. Children. Local children. How to teach them how to Recycle things and the battle. That's great. Alright, so all of these all of the primates that you have here, they're yeah, gonna be released. Here. We have to be sure that they're gonna be okay. Right, right. So you take in the sick animals, you heal them, you make sure they're gonna be okay and survive in the wild, and then you release them in the wild. Yeah. That's fantastic. Woohoo! <laughs> I bet it's hard not to get attached to the animals here, yeah. and so I'm sure it's sad to see them go back home to the to the forest. Yeah. Wow! Look at this. Look at the baby manatees. These are baby manatees. Because in reality, manatees adult when they are five years old. And how old are these? I think one year a month, and when they're less two years. They have to eat only milk. Yeah. They have to drink only milk. And this is special. Red is really expensive because each package costs $80. Each package of milk yeah. costs $80 that you have to feed yeah. these. How often do you have to feed them? Uh, each two hours. Every two hours, a packet of milk. No, no, no. One liter. Oh, one liter. So every two hours, they're drinking one liter of yeah. milk that costs $80 each. It's really expensive. For that reason, we ask for the nation and answers. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Hey, what's wrong with the one I have? This one's good. Here, you want this one? This one's good. Come on. Oh, there you go, buddy. There you go. You can get it. <laughs> so this place relies on entrance fees and donations for its livelihood to take care of all these animals. $80 for a liter of milk to feed the baby manatees every two hours. It's expensive to keep this place going and it's really important to keep places like this going, especially here. So I have an undisclosed amount that I am going to stick in the donation box. 
Was it a $5 bill or was it a $100 bill? I think for those of you who know me, you know exactly what bill that was. How many yellowfoot tortoises do you have in here? Uh, 70. 70. 70, so these are all rescues. Yeah. So you've rescued 70 yellowfoot tortoises from the market, from the where? Market, from the jungle, we have for these days. That is fantastic. All right guys, that was an absolute incredible day touring this city. What a vibrant and stinky, exhausty, hot, awesome city. Uh, that market was incredible. And you know, the cool thing about that was like seeing those yellowfoot tortoises at the market and then going to a place that actually goes to the market and rescues the ones that are still alive and rehabilitate them and release them back into the wild. So it was kind of cool to see both aspects of, you know, culture here in Iquitos as far as that's concerned, where, you know, you have the need for food, but you also have people that recognize that taking too many of these tortoises out of the wild for food is not good either. So it was really kind of incredible to see that full circle. So anyway, Today is my last day here in Peru. I have got to make all of this fit into this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that they're gonna miss that. And as a matter of fact, yesterday when I came in, I was so hot and stinky and dirty from being in the jungle for two weeks that I just immediately jumped in the shower, got out of the shower and realized there's no towels in my room. So. <laughs> what was I gonna do? I had to strip the bed sheet off of that bed and dry myself with the bed sheet and then go down and ask for towels. Yeah. Good going, Anaconda. Anyway, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I'm on a plane. I go back to Minnesota. I'm there for two weeks, then back on a plane to an amazing Australian adventure. And I'll vlog there, and I hope you guys will tune into those vlogs as well. But right now, I gotta get some stuff done. So, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on.